hello, hello. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Mary and I'm the X-Ray x, -ray x Today is February 10th, 10th, yes, 2021, and this is floss tube number 11. Um, I'm really grateful for all of you who are stopping by, either returning or brand new. I appreciate you all. Um, I am beyond tired today, so if I seem a little off, I worked until 11 last night, which means I got home after 12, and then I had to be up by 6.30. So, I didn't get to bed till like 1.30, because I had to shower and eat and unwind from work. We were really busy last night, really, really busy. Um, a lot of people are falling on the ice, so a lot of fractures, and then you have when you have a fracture, there's also probably going to be a surgery, which our department goes in and runs the um, C-arm, or it's a C-arm is what they use in surgery for x-ray. So there's just a lot of extra things going on when um, someone has a fracture, usually. Um, so there's not, other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, it's been three weeks since my last video. I was going to record last week, but my friend from work had her baby a little early. So they're both doing fantastic. Um, it just means I had to pick up the shifts. Um, and then my next video is going to be three weeks from now too, because of the way, like, a P another PRN and I are like splitting her weeks. So she'll work a full week of second shift and then I'll work and then she works. So just the way it'll work out, it's going to be three weeks. I can't film and then go to work. It's too much. So, uh, let's see. My son had his um, was it chapter? Yes, his chapter math counts competition last week, and we will get the results on the twelfth. So we're just waiting for that to find out if it goes to invitational. We're hoping so. He thought it went went pretty well. He felt like sometimes he didn't like he finished like right before it was time to be done. But he feels pretty confident that he figured most of it out. So I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, I am hoping that my schedule at work is going to become a little bit more consistent. I mean, not really consistent, but kind of consistent. Um, they have a new job opening at my hospital for a full-time, like, float. And what that would mean is I would kind of sort of not have a schedule, set schedule. Sorry, stutter, stutter. Um... But I would be guaranteed um, a full-time hours, which would mean I would have a kind of some flexibility, so I wouldn't be like stuck into one shift. But I would still like sometimes work second, sometimes first, sometimes third. But it would be there would be more consistency to it. So I'm hoping I go in to talk to my um, my bosses tomorrow. So I've been anxious because I like the unknown makes me anxious. I mean, it's all going to work out. It's all going to be fine. But until I know, I'm going to be anxious about what my schedule is going to be. Anyway, I think I've rambled on about that long enough. Um, my oldest son, son is home with the dog in the bedroom, which is why I filmed. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. I filmed in the basement last week, last video. I filmed down there twice. The first one wasn't bad. Last time, the color quality was awful. Like, as I was editing, I was like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. I just could, I didn't have it in me to film another one. So I'm like, I'm just going to go with it. These people are understanding. They get it. And so I just switched my filming day. So it's a day that Stevie's home doing his e-learning and that Bruce is, like, so happy just laying in there with him. He won't come up. Because when I'm trying to film or talk on the phone, Bruce won't leave me alone and he barks and I don't know. It's like he gets anxious about it. It's weird. And of course I have the cats running about. So other than that, let's get started. Five minutes in and I've said almost nothing. Like I said, I'm so tired. I look puppy and miserable. Okay, so let's go over the agenda. I have a lot to go through. I did a lot of stuff. And you know how last video I'm like, oh, ha, I'm going to be able to do this stitch from Stash suck at stitch from stash. I need to find like my own version of it because I'm not good at it. Anyway, so let's go through the agenda. I'm not even gonna, no finishes ever, pretty much. My stuff's all huge. Um, I'll go through all my whips, which I have a considerable amount. 
And then I do have one new start. And then I have go over to my plans, and then we'll do some haul with some stitchy kindness. And I also have a giveaway at the very end. Um, and I also, last video I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I had d done it, and then I restarted my video because I can't remember like something weird happened. So I restarted my video. Um, so a few weeks ago, Christine from Stitch All the Things had shouted my channel out. So I wanted to thank her. Um, I love her channel. If you don't watch it. She's very talented. She's multi craftual so she shows all sorts of different things, and she's just a fanta fantastic person. Um, so if you ever come to my channel from someone else mentioning this channel, always let me know because I want to make sure I'm following them and watching them because I always appreciate anyone who watches the videos. So, All right, let's go ahead and get to whips. I'm going to be kind of looking at my book because I have like – a disc it's kind of organized but there's so much it was hard to keep it like I normally do so I just want to make sure I don't forget anything um, we are going to start with knitting today um, my knitting whip I just I keep it to one because I have enough cross stitch whips I don't want multiple knitting too it's too much um, so my knitting whip I'm doing right now is called um, the hue shift afghan I got this kit from knit picks um, it lives in this bag from Amazon, just a nice zip bag. Um, it is knitted in four separate sections that will all come together at the end and then we'll have a border around it. Um, I am working on the third section. Here is where it was last time. And let's see how far I got. My goal was to finish it. I didn't quite finish this section. I'm really close. Um, but I wanted to start my video rather than finishing this up this morning. Um, so here we are. So all I have is just that wee little bit. It's like maybe 20 rows. I like that purple. Um, it's not perfect. Like that one right in the middle doesn't line up and it drives me nuts. I didn't line that one in the middle right. But I keep, my son loves it, it's for him, and he, like, one day I was just so frustrated and wanted to throw it in the fire, and he's like, don't say that, Mom, I love it. It would hurt my feelings if you threw it away. So that shows what I know for being so crappy about it. So I will definitely, I'm going to finish this today, and then start on the next section sometime. For the next video, I'll start the next section. <clears throat> And on top of it, we're out of coffee. So that's great. I've been struggling with that. I'm drinking like one of these like Mountain Dew Kickstarters, which is awful for me. But it was like literally the only thing with caffeine in the house. Hopefully the coffee will be delivered today. Excuse me, my voice is a little raspy. Next up. Um, the periodic table, um, I found this on Etsy, it's right here, um, a while ago. It lives in this bag, it's a Halloween bag. Um, I have a few things about this pattern. I do have it linked below, but please be cautious if you use this pattern and be really careful. We have found a few spelling mistakes in the elements. Um, so if there's like a double letter in an element, they were leaving out one of the letters. So if it was like a TT, it was just showing one. So we had to go back through and spell check all of this. I had to rip out a few. Um, so now when I go to do the names of the elements, I just look on a periodic table online. Um, so what was my goal? My goal was 37 through 42. Oops, here's where it was last time. Did I say that? Because I don't think I did, because I never remember to say that. So here it was last time. And then here's what I worked on. I got those six elements done. So along with fixing the spelling errors, my son and I were looking at this. I don't know, see it doesn't focus. My camera's like, nope. Anyway, so there's an atomic weight underneath all these. And I was doing, because the, the directions aren't clear, to be fair, I was making little X's 
instead of doing French knots. I just didn't really feel that comfortable in French with French knots at that point. We decided we hated it with the little X's. And so I ripped out all of the atomic weights because I'm nuts. Restitched them with French knots instead of X's. So this got actually a lot of work and a lot of it was just like fixing it and making it not drive us crazy. This is stitched with all the called for DMC. This is self dyed 18 count Ada. I dyed it with Brit. My goal was to make it look kind of like it had been drugged through a bunch of mud and I think I kind of accomplished that. Every time I look at this fabric in the camera I'm like man I'm a genius. That looks so good. So there is that. So I, accompli I accomplished like almost all my goals this week except for on that the knit. All the rest of it, I like, I nailed it those last couple weeks. All right. I'm gonna put things away as I go because it's already gonna be a mess. You know, and I don't even know why I put it all away because I just pull it all out to take pictures of it anyway. Okay, so next up is a Christmas stocking for my youngest son, Nathan. Um, it's called Little Hoots, Little Hooties, linked below. It's just a dimensions kit. Um, here's where it was last time. You know, I've done enough videos. You think that wouldn't be hard for me to remember to say that. It always is. I never remember. I like inserting those pictures because I like seeing the progress of them lives in a, a manky old um, butterfly bag that's too small for this project. I need to find a different solution. All right, I'm using all the kit stuff, the floss. I think this is 14 count um, blue Eda. And then my goal was to finish the scarf. And look how cute it is. I know I, every time I say, like, this has been a struggle for me because I don't like all the little snowflakes, but, oh man, look at how cute he is. I love him so much. And then there's a finished one there. So the way I stitch this is I try to get, like, all of these little snowflakes as early as I can because then I'm much more motivated to stitch on it. If I know I have to do all these little snowflakes, it, they're hard to see on camera, but then I kind of avoid this project. And then I will stitch on, there's like three separate sections. So there's a top owl, there's another owl, and then there's one down here. Um, I stitch everything and then I get all the back stitching done and then I move on to the next se section. I don't like leaving back stitch until the end. I like kind of finishing a section. So this is another goal, like period, I have, most of these things I'm showing you are things I'd like to finish by the end of this year. next oh yes uh, Emerald City this was a stitch along that Owl Forest Embroidery did sometime um, they they do a free stitch along every year I think um, so it's on their website um, this is a gift from my mom this is my Wizard of Oz bag that I got from out of print let's see oh and I have it out of the grind bird see. My floss lives in this guy. This is a floss buddy that Karina made for me so I could keep my pattern clipped right inside. And then I'm stitching it in Miss Zeta's silks. She did a silk, sorry my cat's doing stuff. She did a silk conversion for this pattern and oh my gosh her silks, oh, they're so nice to stitch with. They are the best. Um, this pro oh here's where it was last time. Um, this project is stitched on eight, um, 18 count Ada that I dyed myself. So let's see how I got, how I did. My goal was to finish section three. And I did, I got the Tin Man and the Cowardly Lion and that brick road. All done, it looks really good. And then there is the first couple sections. Yeah, look at how well I can uh, center 
hear my piece. <laughs> oh well, I'll, I'll um, frame this myself. It won't be a problem. So this is really cute. This is super super cute. I'm gonna be really. I'm hoping that I'm hoping if things are safe, I'm hoping to be able to go see my family this summer. I'm hoping to have it done before we go. Okay, up next is Halloween Quaker. This lives in like a canvas trick-or-treat bag. I have several of these. I got them all from Amazon for relatively cheap. Um, here is where Halloween Quaker was last time. Um, it is stitched on 18 count Ada from Picture This Plus in Haunted, I'm pretty sure. And I have it on the Q-Snap so you guys can kind of see. My goal was to finish those birds down there. And I accomplished, I accomplished it quite easily. I really probably could have done a few more things on this. But I knew I wanted to, um, I've been working kind of down at the bottom there. I knew I wanted to work my way back up. And so I figured I could just leave it out of the Q-snap to show it. Sorry, I don't, I don't iron or do anything until I'm done. I just, I don't have time. So it's all wrinkly, crinkly mess. I'm using all the called for classic color works on this. This was like, I think my first time using fancy floss. It looks really good. I don't know, I'm probably not halfway done. I'm probably a little over a third of the way done. Another piece I'd like to finish by the end of this year, if I can. All right, what's next? Let me just look at my notes to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, I'm doing well. All right, next up is Alice with Flamingo. Here is where she was last time. Um, Alice is stitched on some off-white 18 count Ada. Um, she lives in this bag, this Star Wars bag I got from a Bendy Stitchy D stash quite some time ago. Uh, my floss is in this 90 pocket where I keep multiple projects. There's three different projects in this one. You see lots of bags plus stuff on my channel. Almost all my stuff has something from them from Karina in it. So my goal was to at least start another, the next page and I started it and finished it. So I'm over halfway done with this. Let me stand up oh, so I can see better. There we go. There. This is a design I got off Etsy from Miss Peggy Designs, I believe. That's how you say her channel. So it looks really good. Another piece I'd like to finish by the end of the year. So I have like one full page column left and then like this last uh, column is partial pages. So those will go quickly. So this is a whole series. I think I, I have like there are five. I think the next one I'm gonna do is the um, white, white rabbit. They're really fun stitches. Big Bigger blocks of color but yet it looks really cool. She is an Italian designer. I think she's from Italy. <clears throat> All right. Moving on. What's next? Okay, All Souls Veer Landon is what's next. Now this is also a haul um, because I couldn't wait to start using it. Um. This is where All Souls was last time. And then it lives in a bag green of me. This is her, I think this is her first time making bags for scroll rugs. Look at that fabric. It's the same fabric I have on my Floss Buddy for Emerald City, I think. 
so I love it. And the zipper is fantastic. It fits in here perfectly. I had it in a make yield pillowcase for this. So. Let's see. I am stitching All Souls Veer Landon on 18 count Ada. I dyed myself. This bag is great. I love it. My goal was to finish this page over here. So it was like, I can't remember how far it went over. Maybe from here over. Sorry, itchy nose. So I, it looks so good. I, what am I stitching this in? The floss is 115, the variegated DMC. This is actually has turned in to my husband and my kind of like wedding sampler kind of. Because under here, like, here are our initials. I said this last time, but here are all of our initials. And then under here is going to be the year we moved in together. We've been, on Valentine's Day, I live, we've been together, like, living together for, like, 14 years, I think. Let me just get this fixed. So, <clears throat> God, my voice sounds terrible. I think I did too much talking at work yesterday. This, was, this is also my first time this was my back. My backs are always icky. Um, my first time using the squirrel rods and I really like it. And this bag, I'll tell you what, it's so much better than that pillowcase was. So thank you once again, Karina. Okay, let me just look at my... Okay, so up next is I am doing a small Halloween piece from just Halloween's Halloween edition. Excuse me, I think 2012. Here's what, this is so bad, you won't even be able to see. This is what she's gonna look like. I, I don't, we don't have a color printer and my working copies get beat up in the, in the bags. So my goal was to finish the pumpkin like she was wearing. So here's where she was last time. If I finished her little jack-o'-lantern and you bet I did this one is taking me forever like I think I started this at the beginning of November and she's still not done I've just really been dragging my feet with her I don't know why she's so cute um this is stitched on 18 count eek that I got in a black needle society their Halloween box their trick-or-treat box so I'll have enough to do another small She's cute. I'm gonna get her done soon. And let's see, I, for my floss buddy for this project, is a little bendy flip, it's Wizard of Oz. Super cute. You're not gonna probably be seeing her next time, and I'll show you why in a little while. Okay, so what's next? Now I'm getting to like the unorganized pile here. Okay. So I had finished like almost all my stitching, like all my stitching goals and I had just a little bit of my knitting. So if I s finish all my goals between videos, then I get out some older projects and just work on them a little bit. So I got out two projects that we haven't seen for a long time. Um, the first thing I got out was um, Templar Prophecy. And here's where it was last time. Um, Templar Prophecy lives in this Wizard of Oz bat project bag. I got this off a of D-Stash on um, Facebook, like a Facebook D-Stash, I think. It's really cool. You don't see a ton of cool Wizard of Oz things, I don't think. Um, here's my floss buddy that I use for this. It's 14 pocket and then has a zipper. Oops. Let's not have that in one. Great. Here we go. Again, Halloween, like everything. I really like that fabric. Let's see. This is stitched using um, 310 on uh, 18 count Ada, like as usual. I'm actually, I have ordered something that's not 18 count Ada. I'm going to try some different things. Um, this was actually my first time stitching, or stitching, uh, dyeing my own fabric. 
and it turned out really well. Actually, both my projects were in the same time that I was um, my first time dyeing fabric. I got this off. I don't know. So I worked over here. I didn't get a ton done, but I, it was fun getting this out again and stitching. This is such, such a cool thing. This is going to be a focus piece next year to truly try to push to get a finish on this one. Because I really enjoy it. It was just toward, like, I didn't have a lot of time to stitch. I was at work quite a bit, so or else I would have gotten more done on this. All right. So my next one is Giant Harry Potter from Clouds Factory. I haven't gotten this out in a really long time. So here is where this one was last time. This one lives in like a floss buddy bag. Oops, I just flashed that pattern. Sorry, fix that. Usually I try to do that before I put the video on, but I just didn't. There we go. Fixed. So this actually has two projects in it. This is like my skull x-ray, and then um, Harry Potter lives on the other side. And then you open it up. I can't remember how many pockets there are, but there's a lot. So here's Harry Potter floss. And yes, I'm using that crappy metallic BMC. Never again. And then there's the flosses for um, the skull x-ray, which I might try to get out here soon. So let's see. Harry, how did I do on you? Not too shabby. I didn't get a ton done. I really didn't get a lot done. Here you can see that like the fabric on this better. Like potion bottles. And then on Harry. So I got the wings done in the keys and then I just started the black on Harry. And then I just kind of ran out of time. I was actually kind of trying to push to get more of my knitting done because my knitting was a little behind. Um, I can't remember I I'm I can't remember where I got this brain. Super cute. This one is super fun. I, I really like it. I, I enjoy Clouds Factory style. Okay, I'm not going to worry about getting that in properly. Fuss with it later. Alright, is that on my whips? Let me just double check really fast, okay? Yes. It's all my whips. That was a lot. I mean, three weeks? That was really good. Um... I did have a new start though. Now it's a very meager start, but it's kind of like a special cool start. I have started my first shadow lane. Um, it's called Halloween Kitty. Um, I'm going to insert a picture of what it's going to look like when it's completed. Right there. And so... It's not like one of her huge ones, and if I decide I like this, then I'm going to continue to do them. Um, this is really cool. So, again, of course, Karina from Bags Plus, she helped me pick this fabric out. But what I did is I wanted to have all my stuff together. I don't like having multiple, like, beads here and then special flosses here, DMC here. So I sent her the list. Let me make sure my pattern's hiding. Okay. Um, of my materials. And so she made me a special, sorry my labels are on there, that's not, um, floss buddy to hold everything. So on this side, and I, I have the labels, the labels don't, don't stand very well, I might need to put a little bit of tape or something on them. So I have the DMCs, then I have all the specialty silks. And then on this side, I have the treasure braids. So there's a little bit of a glare. But then down here are all the beads. And I got, um, I ordered a kit from European Cross Stitch. Is that what it is? Yeah, European Cross Stitch. For all the specialty things. And it was worth it, because I don't like having to, I'm kind of a do the called for kind of person. And I didn't want to have to search for all of it. So I was very grateful for that service. But this is just so cool. 
And then, you know, after my channel line is done, this will be very useful for other projects. I just wanted to have everything together. And then there's another pocket here. My pattern lives here. And then I have a zip pouch to hold extra, you know, anything I need. Like I can put my scissors and whatnots there. I really like that gray. So this is awesome. It's so nice having all my stuff together. I don't have to, like, oh, it's time. Because I'm going to beat as I go. Um, just because that's the same with my back. I don't like waiting. Um, like, the big gems, I'm not going to put on until the end. But, like, the beads are going to be done, kind of. So, and I'm not, like, experienced with beading and all that. Why am I doing a shadow lane? I wanted to. So, right now, this, I only have one set of end bars. So, I just... And because I'm not, like, working on this, like, crazy, I, um, just put it away when I'm not working on it. There's hardly anything done, but what am I stitching this on? Um, 32 Count Belfast that I ordered from Be Stitch Me in the colorway Mummy is what I chose. And then I got, because there's, like, going to be black cats, as you saw, I got a couple little black cat needle minders. And then there is teeny tiny start. I just got the urge. It's like, I'm going to go ahead and start this. So I did. So I'll just be working on this little by little. Kind of as I get my goals done, I'll probably get this out and just do a little bit. And just, you know, I want to take it slowly so I can learn the specialty stitches, learn the beading properly. I don't want to be in a rush to try to feel like I have to finish it or that I am stressed to get goals done on it. It's so fun, though. I'm really excited to learn some new things. So, so there was my new start, and I have like more new starts I want to do. But I've been really, I like, I really want to focus on getting some finishes this year because I don't think I had hardly any last year. So there is that. So that's all my stitching. That's pretty darn impressive. Pretty darn impressive, my friends. So. Let's go over my I'd like to accomplish for um, between now and my next video. So I'm just gonna sit back and I'm gonna get a drink. Like, oh, my throat. I've definitely, oh, excuse me, I've definitely overused my vocal cords. Okay, so my plans. Um, I want to do another six elements on the periodic table. Um, on the Christmas stocking, I want to finish. Like, um, he has like wings on either side. He's holding a drum. And so I want to get the wings on either side um, stitched. On Emerald City, because I have three weeks, I have more time to accomplish my goals. I want to get two sections done on that. Because it's starting to get a little behind, and I want to keep it up. I know the next one is like the Queen Mouse and some flowers. And then I think the section after that might be starting the Emerald uh, City. But I can't remember for sure. Halloween Quaker, I'm going to go back up top, and I'm going to get about five motifs done. One of them is larger, and like the others are fairly small, so that shouldn't be hard to accomplish. Alice with Flamingo, I want to finish up the next page. It is not, it's like mostly just a couple colors, because it's up in the sky, so that will actually go really quickly. I could probably almost get that out in a day, maybe two. And then also is Mere Landon, I want to get, there's a small page in the corner to finish up that side. Now I want to get that done. And then I actually am, crap, I am going to have a new start. And we'll talk about that in a little bit because that's going to be, instead of working on my Pumpkin Girl Winifred, I have something else I'm going to do. And we'll talk to that about that in a little bit in Stitchy Kindness. <clears throat> so those are my goals for the next three weeks. Um, I think they're very attainable. I like working on a variety of projects. Like I was trying to do like bigger goals on not as many things. I wasn't happy doing that. I like smaller goals on lots of different things. Apparently I don't have an attention span or something. I don't know. Alright, so what did I buy? S stuff. Alright, so, I know not, not exciting, it's just DMC. But it's for like the next small I'm, I want to do, which is not small. This is not going to fit in my stitching journal. But I just couldn't help it. It's, um, Formidable Frank. This is probably in 
just crotch stitch 2013. I have um, digital copies of these, so it's hard for me to remember. So there he is. He's so amazing. Um, I can't remember. Uh, the designer, Glennon Place, is the designer on this. I, I knew it was a well-known person. I just couldn't come up with it. I'm actually going to stitch this on even leave. I've ordered um, Verdal. I always want to say Nadal, the tennis player, instead of Verdal. I think that's how you say it. Uh, it's a 40 count even weave, and I'm really curious about it. So that's what's going to go on. I think I got like tea leaf or something for him. So it's a rather colorful fabric, and he's kind of a colorful guy. But I kind of like bright fabric with bright patterns sometimes. So he's super cute. So he'll be started after Winifred's finished. Which at the pace I'm going is going to be exactly never. So of course when I ordered the floss, I am a pattern, I have a pattern problem. I mean not a problem, it's just a pattern thing. I have this weird obsession with nutcrackers. I've decided I love them. And I've been kind of looking around for a good nutcracker pattern as I found this guy. Sorry, I can't see. There we go. And I, I was thinking about like splitting them up and doing them separately, but I want to do them all together. They're adorable. Okay. That'll be started sometime. A lot of back stitching. I don't hate back stitching, it just can stress me out sometimes. Because I'm a perfectionist. It has to be just right. It doesn't, but it does. What else? Oh, I just got, I got this adorable Grime Guard. And I got a Q-Snap. I, I know I had a plan for them, but I think, I don't know. So it's going to be hard to see. They're bookworms. And I got this off of Tankard Crafts on Etsy. And she has really cute things. Here, you can see that little bookworm. I love to read. I'm a Ravenclaw. Books are my jam. All right, this actually came the day I filmed my last video. It came like after the video was um, recorded. So after I finish um, the Emerald City, um, I want to start one for my grandmother. And it's another um, Al, for Al Forest. It was their last stitch along, the 100 Owls. And so what did I pick for 100 Owls? So I got actual the owl and for owl. I can't say that to save my life. Um, I got the actual owl forest embroidery flosses for it, um, and it came really fast. I mean, this comes from Russia, and it was just a few weeks. Um, the only one I substituted because it was hard. They had it in like a fairly expensive. Um, it was like the salt and pepper, like the first one. Hold on here, let me get a little bit better organized here. Um, so I substituted that one with a color in cotton that was fairly similar. I think the other one had like a little bit more of a bluish tint. I picked Old Moss. And if you're like really curious about what these all look like, go to Owl Forest Embroidery and you can see all the colors. So I did substitute the first one, which was Salt and Pepper. And it's going to be hard to show, the, show you all these. So I might just pull out a few, so you just get an idea. They're really pretty flosses. They're, they're kind of wound up tightly, so it's kind of hard to show you them all. But I got all the call for. The white was probably not a good choice to show you. It's just blowing out. It's fine. Oh, this one's pretty. I mean, they're just beautiful. There. So I got all the flosses for that. So I'm anxious to get Emerald City done so I can start this for Grandma. I remember when I was little, she used to love owls. And she had like this really cool like owl lamp. So. There goes all the patterns. And then as of right now, I there's time as I keep getting um, the fabric of the month. This is what I have picked right now. 
It's Autumn by Bestitch Be Me. I think I'm going to put them on, the, on this. I'm not 100% decided, but as of right now, this is what I've chosen. And if I get like another fabric come in in the month, fabric of the month, I may switch. But I really like the way those flosses look on that fabric. Okay, let me just move this over yonder. Okay, so let's, since we're talking about Be Stitch Me, let's look at February's flosses and fabric. I am in the Stitch Me's um, mixed color, gr color group for her fabrics. So one month I will get a neutral and then the next month I get the color fabric. This month I was neutral, got in the neutral club and this is called Honey. Very pretty, 18 count Ada. But if I like that Verdal, I think is that Verdal? Whatever it's called. I may end up switching it up or I may even switch to 20 count Ada. I just feel like switching it up. So this is a really pretty fabric. I like the colored fabric, so. But it was pink this month. I'm going to tell you, pink's not necessarily my jam. Um, so I'm kind of glad. But, I mean, I say pink isn't really my jam, and all of her flosses were pink this last month. Which is fine. Let me show you the silks. Sorry, there's stuck. All right. So let's go through these. These are actually really cool. It's just pink isn't necessarily my favorite, but the names of these, mm, brilliant. So here's Kathy. It's pretty true. Maybe not quite as purpley as it showing up. And then we have, which one is this? Blush. This is a color she's had out for a while. My face. And then Tulip, my favorite flower. And then, which is one? Pretty in pink. Nice soft pink. And then my favorite name. This, is, this name is brilliant. I mean, brilliant. Dirty Piggy. So it's like a pink and gray. That I love. I don't find uses for these. But I would never do like a monochrome pink. It's just not, not for me. Very Halloween themed. Or Halloween, really? Valentine's Day. Very Valentine's Day themed. And these were from January, the January club. So by the time I film next time, I should have my February. Time is all blended together into just one mush. Okay, so I, is that all like my haul? That is all my haul. I guess it wasn't as bad as I could. It was only three weeks, so, but anyway. So I did get some Stitchy Kindness, my incredible Stitchy Kindness. Um, so let's start with this one. Hold on, me move so I have all my... Um, Athena from, what's her channel called? Let me get it. Stitching Goddess Designs um, had a giveaway on her Instagram for getting 12, um, 1,200 subscribers. And I won it. Yay! And she was going to the Silver Needle, and she was going to pick out a chart. And she had three winners. We all loved Halloween. So she had opted to get try to find a pattern that we could all sell together. And so as she was there, she was, like, sending us, like, pictures of things. And we were choosing the Silver, silver Needle in Tulsa, I believe, looks bloody amazing. And I wish I lived there. Um, there's just so much good stuff. But this is what we chose, and this came a couple days ago. And it's super cute. It's a Bent Creek called Photo Booth, and it's, she has like a Photo Booth series, the Bent Creek does. I shouldn't say she, because I don't know. Um, this is a Halloween one. This is so cute. 
So it's Frankenstein's monster with a ghost. And it's like they're in one of those, you know, photo booths where you get the strip of pictures. So cute. So stinking cute. It came with linen. 32 count, I think. I don't know. I'm not going to dig through to look. Just like a 32 count linen. I'm dropping it everywhere. A nice little linen and then it has buttons for the little spider which I'm not gonna show because they're just little black buttons in it and my camera won't focus on it anyway um it was charted it had a DMC conversion but it was charted in all like classic color works gentle art and I decided to go ahead I don't have a ton of like fancy floss so I decided just to go ahead and do it in fancy floss They're just, I'm not going to like read them all out, but if you're curious, you can go look up, pick them up, but really pretty. I really am fond of that sweet potato, I think. Yeah, that's pretty. So. We are going to start this on the 12th. Due to the fact that she had 1,200 subscribers, we are going to do it on the 12th. And if you happen to have a pattern or even any of her phone book patterns, I'm sure you're more than welcome to join. What's the hashtag? Hashtag is 1200 follower Sal. Sal. All written out. So it's not the numbers. It's written 12. And then it's written 100 follower Sal. So that was exciting. Her channel is really good. She has just started her own channel. Um, it's very enjoyable, so I would encourage you to go check her out. She also started making cross-stitch themed t-shirts. That's something I would be sharing with you like in March. I have ordered one and it has not come yet, so probably next video. I'll be able to show that off to y'all. One more stitchy kindness. Oh my gosh, I forgot one thing of haul and it was the most important thing of haul. Because I, but I had it set aside so it didn't get smushed. So let's do the last bit of haul because I'm so stinking excited about this and I can't believe I almost didn't show it. I have never been lucky enough. I was talking about Christine from Stitch All The Things and I've never been able to get one of her bags. And it always made me sad. Last week, I got one of her bags and I will tell you what, I can't stop looking at it. She named it Little Stinker and yes, those are skunk. And yes, it's bloody amazing. This is, I mean, the craftsmanship on her bags. And she had one in like this uh, purpley colorway, and then she had one that was like lime green. That one was cool too. But I finally got one. And like, look at her accent fabric that she chose. Like, she is just mm, so smart. It goes so well together. Seriously, like when it comes to like regular project bags, like, there's no, I mean, it's just amazing. Hopefully someday I'll get maybe another. And then she sends floss. Like a little DMC, this number. 3802. To match. I love this. I don't know what's going to live in there yet, but it's going to be something very special. Because this bag, mm, I am in love with it. Like I said, just her sewing is just so stinking impressive. See, I told you, the way I had things piled, it was kind of stacked up here, and I almost forgot to show it. I would have been so sad if I hadn't shown that. So happy I did that. So, like, one of my goals for this year when it came to purchasing stuff is I wanted a Christine bag really bad this year. I also really wanted a Clay by Kim needle minder, both of which are very, I mean, her bags can be hard to come by. They go in seconds. Same with Clay by Kim. Well, she had a giveaway on her Instagram. Um, and I won one, and I couldn't believe it. I was shocked that I won, and I was so excited. Um, she has, oh my gosh, the, I don't know, you probably can't, it's getting all washed out, sorry. Um, the peacock ones that she has, like the peacock-themed dragons. Man, I'll be at work when they go up, but oh, I might try. Because those peacock dragons are impressive. I'm just getting it out of the bag and whatnot. So 
this is the needle minder I won. And it, I mean, it, they're incredible. Get my face out of there and see. God, my camera is just not focusing very well today. I apologize. Um, it's, an, it's amazing. It's just beautiful. The fact that these people are so willing to share such a great talent with us. So this is probably actually going to go on All Souls Beer Landon. And like her back. The back of her needle minders are even really cool. Like that's a cool needle minder, just the back. And then you flip it over to see such beautiful artwork. So I was, I was so happy to get that. I couldn't believe it. Like I was shocked. And it came super fast. Like it came really fast. Now that is all my stuff that I have for myself. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. It's so far probably long. Okay. So now I have some things I want to share with you. Um, when Karina made me the um, scroll rod bag and the, what should we call it? It has to have the Shadow Lane companion. I don't know. I'll have to have a special name for it. Cause I, I think it's a good idea. I love, I love that thing. Um, I wanted to share some of her products with you because obviously they're my favorite. They're in everything. I have bags plus stuff with almost every single project I use. I just love them. And I want to share. So I have something special that I have put together. Um, she made, she, she gave this to me to give away. I did not pay for this one. Um, a bendy flip. And we would be fabric twins if you won this. So you have your witches and then it has the gray felt on the inside. These are 12 pockets and then on this side you have like a little pocket for either extra floss, scissors, whatever. If you have a wee small pattern you could fold up in there maybe. But I couldn't just give this. I contacted Bendy Stitchy. I purchased this. But I'm going to take this out. I hope that's okay. Um, and since this is a Halloween theme, you know, Halloween themed bendy flip, I thought one of her patterns would go perfectly with it. So I got Hillsby's brew. But look, my camera is just on the suckage today. She signed it. So after I had purchased it, I messaged her and I said, hey, I want to use this in a giveaway. Would you be kind enough to sign it? And she did. So you could have a signed Hildy's Brew. And this is so stinking cute. And then I purchased the DMC to go with it. I'm not going to take this out of the bag because it's DMC. We all get it. So you will get all the DMC to stitch, Hildy, and then you'll get the floss buddy. So how do you win this? You need to be 18. I can't get your address if you're not. Um, do not say giveaway in your comment because people will search for giveaway and then they'll just enter random giveaways that they actually don't have much interest in and I don't want that to happen. I want you to go to Bags Plus on Etsy. I will have it linked below. I actually always have her website linked below. Usually it's toward the bottom, but I'm going to bump it up to the top. Go to her Etsy shop and tell me what's your favorite thing. And I will enter you. And the way I decide who wins is because my channel is small, so I don't do the random comment picker that a lot of people do. I just read your comment and I give you a number. So the first person who comments is one and so on. And then Google picks a random number. And that's how I decide the winner. You have three weeks to enter. So by my next video, um, so let me tell you the exact date. I have it written down. March 3rd is when I will decide who wins this. I will ship it to you anywhere. Just be mindful. Shipping is difficult. Things taking are taking a long time. The last giveaway I shipped took a really long time to get to just like Rhode Island. Um, so just be mindful and I will get this out sooner that giveaway 
my son got exposed to COVID and I was not gonna risk sending things out. So is that everything? Okay, so go there, tell me what your favorite fabric she has up there, your favorite product she has up there. And I think that is finally it. That's what I've got. That was a lot. So I will see you back on March 3rd for another video, unless something crazy happens, but really I don't like going longer than three weeks. That, that's too much. I like to keep it to two weeks when possible, but I appreciate you guys being understanding of my work schedule. It's just, it's chaos. <laughs> like my, my schedule is chaos. So that's everything. I, oh, one thing I did want to say, one thing I've noticed is, you know, I kind of like to spread joy and kindness to people. I have kind of reworded some of the things I say to people. So instead of saying, I appreciate it, like I appreciate what you did for me, which I do, I have been switching to telling people that I appreciate you. And I will tell you what, when you, when I go, sometimes I will stop at Starbucks on my way to work and I go and pick up my coffee. Instead of saying, hey, I appreciate it, you made my coffee, I tell them that I actually appreciate them. The look on their face is so different and it brings me joy to make people feel like they are really appreciated and special. So I would encourage it, just try it. Today, when you're either having to stop at the grocery store or what have you, just try to tell people that you appreciate them and not what necessarily only what they do for you, them. So that's what I've got. Have a lovely day, guys. Bye.